so I was watching um, my friend Anita's video, her latest video, and once again I want to comment on the food. When you watch her videos, you have to look real close at her videos. Her presentation of her food. When she videotapes, you know, she does her videos, she uses music and pictures and, you know, and she does it in a way where she, she edits it and it's pretty smooth and it's clean. You get you get a feeling of her videos. It's the way she puts them together. She's a pretty good director. I like her work. But when you watch her food, and she does her own cooking, I believe, um, and when you see her presentation of this food, it's similar to what you see on the Food Network. It's a TV network all about food. And most of the time they're in the high-end foods and stuff like that. And for her not to have any culinary um, background that I know of, her food, the way it's displayed in her videos is that perfect. The eye is the way she plates the food. It's it's it makes you want to eat healthier food. Um, when you see the way she displays the food, it gives a, a better look and feel to the food. These are healthy foods. It's not a bunch of strawberries thrown there. It's not just noodles and vegetables thrown on a plate. When you look at it, it's actually presented to you. I mean, it's a vision in itself the way her food looks. And, you know, a lot of people say, well, well, maybe she plates the food like that because or she's doing the video or something. You know, I don't know. But, like I'm saying, watching the way the food is presented, you know, makes you want to eat healthy. In other words, it looks good. It's good for you. But it actually... Like I said, the way it's presented makes you want to eat healthy food. She talks about uh, vegetables. When you look at it, it's just not vegetables thrown on the plate. It actually looks like, okay, wow, these vegetables, it's like a piece of art. And uh, she's got the, the cool music behind it, types in the words, pretty cool videos. Um, it's kind of hard to explain certain things to certain people. Because I can't type. So I do the best I can to type. And I try to express myself in the typing. And when you try to tell somebody that their food looks good, like on Food Network, what do you mean my food's not processed? I don't do this. I'm like, I wasn't saying your food looked bad. I was saying your presentation was flawless and professional. And for someone who's regular just cooking for themselves to be healthy, you would not expect the food to be plated as if, you know. So hopefully I explained myself. But since I've been watching her videos, I lost a few pounds. I gained a few muscle. I eat better. But, you know, just recently I went and bought a bunch of meat. So I, I probably will go back to eating meat. I don't know, but, you know, the vegetables is good. I couldn't, you know, I can't plate the food like that because me, I just cook them and eat them. I, you know, to make the food look good before you eat it, that right there in itself is artwork. And that's why I was trying to tell this person I appreciate, but sometimes it gets lost in translation. I mean, other than that, let's get back to other things. I hope you liked the series of videos I just did. Um, me and a close friend of mine who's no longer on YouTube, we sat down and had a telephone conversation. He is like the only person left that has my real phone number, my home phone number. I will have a new phone next week. Those who want to talk to me now can talk to me through Media Ring Talk. I'm the real AIX. Signing off for today. Promise you, no more videos today. I just want to reflect on one last thing. As a human being, 
being the person that I am, knowing all I know about what I think I know, what I believe to be is real or not. I can only speak for myself and only speak from my perspective. And if those are, if there are any other people out there who think or believe like I do, then thank you. I am not alone. All these people out here who watch me have the right to disagree with me. Those who I consider my family, they have the guts and they will tell me when they think I'm wrong. Just like my friends in the UK, just like my friends in Chicago, Atlanta, and Detroit, and just like my friends on the other side of this camera, whatever country whatever race, whatever nationality you are. I have no enemies. Those who dislike me, dislike me because of my beliefs. And I do believe that we can all get along and be one nation, one people. But a lot of people don't believe I should be part of that nation or we should be some of those people in the new world. So those people who don't believe in fair equality for all. Those people who choose to make fun and call names. Those people who choose to be disrespectful instead of show respect. You be you and I be me. And when the race is over, we'll see who wins. I remember a long time ago, a friend of mine said, let's run to the store. Okay. I started running as fast as I could. Didn't even look back. Dusted me. Kids are strong all tired. Buddy's walking up a minute later. Nah. I just wanted to see if you'd run all the way here. In real life, you don't do that to people. I'm not going to send somebody on a wild goose chase running, looking for stories, trying to find something. I'm just going to tell the truth and be real. That's all I can do. That's it. It's four o'clock now. I think I've given you 14 or 15 videos today. My patented 10 minute limit. For what? To try to make you think different about today. To try to make you think better tomorrow. I try to wake you up right now. Right now. If you don't wake up to do anything but tell me I'm wrong, then wake up. Wake up everybody.